The iconic greetings from Austin mural off of South First Street has again been vandalized. This time someone spray painted the words justice for Botham over it. Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live from South First with what it looks like now. Good morning, Jacqueline. Looks like it's gone. Hey, good morning, guys. It is gone. Most of it is gone, but the artist was just showing me there's still some some graffiti left on the mural. I know it's hard to see, but Todd Sanders is the artist behind this. He said the damage roughly $4,000, and that message that you just read was just plastered all over this painting. He says it took him about four hours to clean everything up yesterday. So Todd Sanders, the artist behind this, was... Just explaining to us, he is very heartbroken that someone vandalized his painting again. He said that he's going to be installing some um, surveillance videos to making sure that this doesn't happen again. But the message, the vandalism comes about a week after former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger was sentenced to 10 years in prison on a murder charge. She was found guilty for shooting and killing Botham John when she accidentally went into his apartment instead of her own. Sanders says every time someone sprays graffiti on the mural, he's losing hope with it. He also says to the person responsible for vandalizing it that if you feel so strongly about something, go paint a mural that says your message and stop painting over his. It's heartbreaking to come out and see this, and it's not going to, they're not going to accomplish anything by doing this except costing me work, because I'm going to fix it every time. But, I mean, come on, what, what kind of person are you that you do this? Back in July, this mural was also vandalized with a message, Welcome to Austin. Don't forget to leave. Once again, this is the third time this mural has been vandalized, and the owner says he will have to spend about $4,000 fixing it, and he will be repainting it. Back to you. All right, Jacqueline Sarkeesian reporting live in South Austin. Thanks, Jacqueline.